So peace, we are headed camping. We're going to Lake Chelan State Park. Uh, and this place, every time you come to Wenatchee or uh, this area, you have to stop here and get the milkshakes. I mean, this place is world famous. Guy Fieri came here. Uh, everyone from Seattle knows about this place. So you come here and you, you get, they have great diner food. It's a diner, great food at the diner. Could you please step aside so I can watch this truck? Dance. Are you gonna be in the video then? All right, this is our setup. See, this is our Concord, Coachman Concord motorhome. All right, I just want to show you a quick set, uh, quick setup that we have. Uh, I bring a lot of stuff, so <laughs> the the people said one of my side compartments look like a clown car because stuff kept coming out of it. Uh, this thing will hold about 2,400 pounds of, of weight storage weight and plus we told a jeep there's a big event going on here it's uh black people hike too is here uh they typically come out for that juneteenth weekend and they bring a bunch of members with them and they all have fun so as you can see i bring my kayak so i can go fishing in the morning times uh this kayak leave and i can tandem we can roll this tandemly as well because there's space for another seat to go up here and i bring my pop-up as well so we can retreat into that that's like a mosquito tent we can retreat into that if the mosquitoes come out too bad uh we have a ton of firewood at home but trying to stay true See, my wife said i didn't do my job but they request that we not bring wood from a different area of the state of the state, a different area to this area. So I complied and I didn't. I purchased wood here, whereas I got a lot of wood at home. So my kayak is a black foot aqua glide. Um, this thing is, is really nice. It's an inflatable, but it's funny. This thing catches more fish than a lot of big kayaks, right? Hard shell and even boats. And then this is my battery that I use for my trolling motor. I just recharged it for tomorrow, so we're ready to go. Yeah, you didn't. My wife said she don't think she did the cooler right. What do you guys think? 
the lid is open, I think it's definitely not right. Work in progress. So, uh, we're gonna go out tonight and have some fun. My wife's gonna do what she does best. Absolutely Absolute, She said absolutely nothing. I, I agree with that. Absolutely nothing. What? Yeah, we like this one. It's big. See that big one on the back? You can park on the water, open up your blinds in there, and you have a view of the lake or whatever you're around. Lake Chelan is a beautiful lake. Lake Chelan State Park is very desirable. It is very hard to get into in the summer. Uh, typically there's fires in the area. So as you can see in the video, it's crystal clear right now because there's no fire. We had a pretty wet, cool spring. Uh, fishing is great in the lake. There's kokanee, there's uh, lakers, there's big king salmon, there's bourbon, there's all kinds of fish. Water sports is very popular here. If you can get into this place, I encourage you to do it. It is a lot of fun. All right, we got one on. We got one on, peeps. We got a kokanee on. Oh yeah, nice little kokanee. We got them on, fellas, that's what I'm talking about. The net, let's see if we can get them in the net here. Keep them in the water, soft lips, soft lips. He's, he's fighting hard. I'm gonna try to keep him in the water. All right, there we go. We got him. We got him. Look at the people on the paddle boards. Oh, he's jumping in the water. Oh, shit. No, he's not. Yes, he is. I can't get him, dude. Wait right now. casino you guys yeah this is my wife the addiction is real addiction is real karma one of my wife's favorite wineries this place is nice it's like uh the winery is actually in a cave so all the stuff that you see is actually on top of the the winery cool yeah you came to lake Chelan, you gotta come to karma this place, uh, good wine. Uh, my wife wants me to shoot the foliage. Yeah, it's just pretty. Pretty scenery. I mean, temperature. Yeah. The temperature in Seattle has been sucky. So, over here in Eastern Washington, it's almost like two different, two different environments. We decided to leave Karma and go to Albatross. Albatross is a restaurant that is now owned by Karma. Karma is no longer allowed to sell hot food. All right, y'all, we are here at the new Karma restaurant. I'm not gonna leave taking pictures and stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Give me doing one good. second. Oh, you got it. I don't know if you guys seeing what I'm seeing. Fish and chips, charcuterie board, mussels, they call clams. Clams are much more different between a clam and a Oh, the shell, I got you. Yeah, and then Janet Jackson if you're nasty. 
Yeah. Hey Janet, keep going, girl. Let me see how you get down. Just like this. <laughs> All right. Let me see, Janet. Let me see. You got a lot of bread over there, though. She gave me no, no ketchup. Some of fries. They just stand there and they want water. Yes, for that. All right. All right. Well, Whiskey sour. Can you get it in? See, I, look. I, I got work like a slave. I ain't get paid. I didn't get paid for my work. You go, you go, you go, sweet. <laughs> look. Oh, vodka? I, hey, I'll take that payment. <laughs> So we are walking this street right here. It, you guys see a lot of cars parked here, but there's actually campsites down the hill. And we'll, we'll be down there shortly. But, uh, so they park up here on the street. This is all part of the state park, uh, Lake Chelan State Park. And uh, they hike down the hill with their tents and stuff like that. And they set up, they're nice sites because they're right on the water. And they have docks too. We were, when we were here last, the docks weren't here, but they have brand new docks. So that is pretty cool. Chipmunk. Hey Chipmunk. How you doing little guy? Hey, how's it going? Is that you guys' pontoon boat? No. <laughs> They're like, no, wish it was. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. It looks nice, I tell you that. We had something like that, the kids might want to hang out with us. Let's see, it's got a little gate right here, too. Yeah. Okay. I say she was about to get lit. Mm -hmm. I had to put my drink down. I said, hold on, what's going on here? All right. It's a little different. Huh? So people, my wife is talking about her alcoholism. Oh. Nice. <laughs> well, you are at a campsite and you are just relaxing and maxing. It is so easy to drink too much unless you have discipline, like me. I have discipline. Oh, now she got discipline. I stepped away. Now she got discipline. So, this is the swimming beach. Uh, at Lake Chelan State Park in the swimming area. I don't know if the ducks are <laughs> utilizing it more than the people, but I'm seeing a lot of ducks. Hi, duck. Are you swimming? Oh, yeah? You're talkative tonight. Okay, I got you. Hey, look at these guys up here. They're over here foraging. They're eating it up. What kind of bugs are you guys eating? Huh? Why can't you holler at me? Come holler at a brother. Oh, okay. This one laying down eating. There you go. All right. All right, Living Life is our last day. 
And as you can see, we got my motor working. Lever is working it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna be on the camera, not paddling at all. This is for her, this is her exercise. So this is what she's gonna do. She's gonna work that thing out. So this is beautiful Lake Chelan. <clears throat> and if you live on, you know, Eastern Washington or you're traveling to Eastern Washington from Seattle or wherever you're coming from, uh, they call the Eastern Washington area like our Cabo San Lucas. It is so different from Western Washington. It's separated by a mountain pass and on the east side, like today, for example, it's going to be over 96 degrees and this is warm. Last year, it got up to 150. 15 degrees you think we're in Arizona or something uh, we do have the luxury of having a motorhome uh, and the motorhome air we have air conditioning thank God I don't I don't remember the air conditioner turning off at all but yeah this is a great state park uh, they have tent sites on one side and they have tent sites along the water so as we pass by some of these water sides you're gonna see docks and things like that and there's gonna be really nice water sites uh, that are here. And we met some really cool people here. We met the Ski Club, which is like a, a, a group of black people who, they're older now. I'm talking, when I say older, I'm talking like mid 70s, 80s, and they're still active. But they used to, well, they still go skiing and they even camp in the, in the snow. They call themselves the Ski Club. Uh, by the way, I will not be joining that club. Uh, Lee was laughing. <clears throat> There's another one called the Bronze Chapter. The, what's that? My wife said I can be a ski bunny. That's right, I would be a sexy ski bunny. Hey, I got all the guy gear and everything. Ooh, ski bunny sound. All right, but back to the information here. The Bronze Chapter, that's another uh, black camping group. Um, and it's funny, um, some of these groups are kind of splintered. I mean, they're, you know, some of the ages and they're, they're getting smaller. And there's also the uh, Black People Hike too, uh, which has a very young president. He has a very interesting story. Uh, he said his kids would uh, go back to school after a break and all of this, their counterparts, white kids, they would be telling the teacher, the teacher would say, what'd you do over your break? Oh, we went camping. Oh, we did this. Oh, we did that. And they would come home and tell their dad. And so their dad started having them go hike, take hikes, introducing them to the wilderness, the woods. And the kids loved it. And then they started camping and they're called uh, black people hike too, uh, but they also camp. So now what they've done uh, is they'll come to parks and they'll set up you know park tent sites and stuff like that rv sites whatever the um, rv folks are kind of my folks who are getting into these clubs now um so they'll use this as a base and they'll camp as you see i'm showing you a mountain basically that's right beyond us and there's hiking trails all on that mountain leva and i did it when we were here a couple years ago uh, we didn't go that far on it, but we went far enough to, you know, have some beautiful panoramic shots of the lake. Um, so that was pretty nice. But uh, so they hike, they'll do day hikes like that. Uh, but there is another group that's part of that ski club. Her name is Denise and her husband's name is, uh, it was it Henrik, Henrik. Henrik is Swedish. And man, they do some serious hikes, like drop you off on an island and you survive type stuff. <laughs> so... So what I'm trying to say is you got all kinds of diversity here and skill levels and things like that. And now folks with motorhomes are, like I said, they're, they're, they're not really joining up, but they're just looking at the calendar and they're meeting up with this group. Every Saturday they do a potluck and our neighbor, Henry, um, he, he had a birth this year. He had a birthday. He's not a part of the group either, but he had a birthday and everybody came to his uh, campsite. Uh, he has a trailer, travel trailer, and they threw a birthday, potluck birth, birthday party for Henry. So, a um, lot, of, lot of stuff. I mean, if you're a person of color, I mean, don't be afraid. My mom is death, deathly afraid of the outdoors. She thinks, uh, she told me a hyena will grab her out of her tent. Oh, 
don't think so. <laughs> All right, so this is our 14, 13 and a half foot kayak that we you know, fish out of it and leave it now. Also, we tandem kayak, which is set up now as a tandem. Uh, it works pretty good, it's pretty stable. And I won't get Leva because she's looking pretty bad pulling that thing up the hill. But we did add wheels to it, as you can see. 